Black Studies transforms the way we produce knowledge about black people. When we have knowledge that's coming directly from the experiences of black people as opposed to knowledge that's created about black people based on presumed biases. There's this idea that if blacks start here in 1865, that things just go up for them. Freed in 1865 and then on to radical reconstruction. What we see is that following slavery, emancipation, and reconstruction, there's this massive migration of black people from the rural South to urban areas of the South and North of the United States. And that has serious consequences for many of America's major cities. There was also a group that had armed self-defense, especially against the racial violence of the KKK and mobs. That necessitated the rise of the civil rights movement. Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, Black Power Movement, which culminates in the presidency of Barack Obama. The narrative is such that things have just gotten better for blacks ever since then. But this is a, a problem for us as historians, and it's a problem for us as everyday people when we think about where we are today. And the question I've been addressing in my own research is how to explain the pervasive and the persistent failure of black children in American schools. And most importantly, what can we do to use education as a means to expand opportunity and to change outcomes for black children. Similarly, in the era of the Movement for Black Lives, which was founded by three black women, they wrote a statement about resistance of the Dakota Access Pipeline, stating there is no black liberation without indigenous sovereignty. Now, this is a crucial point in one of the first times where black people are explicitly saying that they're standing in solidarity with indigenous peoples. Hip-hop, for me, is one way in which black and native people demonstrate what I would call an anthem, where music and videos are used to challenge settler colonialism and anti-blackness, but they're using this black culture and art form to do so. So these national anthems, as we commonly think of them, you might think of the Star Spangled Banner, for example, and this meant to organize around a certain set of shared ideas and practices that we know to stand, we know to place our hand over heart, all things that have in the contemporary moment been challenged, and rightly so. We need to recognize who black people are, black culture difference, not as inferior, but as a product of specific historical experiences that are lived through identities of race, gender, class, and sexuality. And it also really helps us to approach our human differences, not with fear, loathing, and ignorance, but as equals.